Hello, in this video we want to show you a hydraulic drill and rig. This is Sergei, he is a manufacturer of this machine. And now he will talk about the design and operation of the machine. The drill and rig is assembled on the basis of a diesel engine which has a power of 30 kW or 40 horsepower. This power is sufficient for the simultaneous execution of three operations while drilling. The first operation is the rotation of the drill string. The second operation is the lowering and lifting of the drilling tool. And the third operation is the mood pump working. The hydraulic system of the drilling rig uses a three-flow hydraulic pump. Three-flow because three flows of hydraulic oil are used by three consumers that are working at the same time. With an increase in the load on one of these working bodies, the rest do not lose their operating parameters, because they have their own autonomous power source. The drilling rig has a mast for a working tool 3 meters long. The working stroke of the carriage is 3.2 meters, so you can use the drill pipes 3 meters long. The mast is raised to the working position and lowered back to the transport position by using a hydraulic cylinder. We made it as compact as possible in order to maintain the minimum dimensions of the drilling rig. The raising and lowering of the carriage is realized by using a chain drive. The chain is driven by a sprocket that rotates with a hydraulic motor. A brake valve is installed on the hydraulic motor. The brake valve allows the drilling tool to be suspended during operation and prevents unintentional lowering. Optionally, a second hydraulic motor can be installed, which will increase the lifting and lowering forces of the drilling tool by two times. The rotator carriage is universal. It has a special bracket that allows quick replacement of the rotator. If the rotator with a swivel during operation needs to be replaced with a rotator with orgos, you can take off two fingers and install the required rotator. A reciprocating mud pump driven by a hydraulic cylinder is installed here. It can pump from 200 to 400 liters per minute and create working pressure up to 15 bar. The principle of operation is as follows. A separate hydraulic flow is directed to an electrically controlled directional valve. This valve has two electromagnets, left and right. The valve changes the direction of movement of the hydraulic cylinder, which drives the piston of the mood pump. The rod of the hydraulic cylinder reaching the end position turn on the right electromagnet. When reaching the second opposite end position, turns on the left electromagnet. Thus the movement of the hydraulic cylinder rod is automatically switched in one direction and the other. The design of the support allows the installation height to be adjusted, depending on the height of the chassis on which it is installed. A hydraulic lock is installed on the support. It allows the chassis to be held under load. The support has special grooves that are fixed in the bracket. Depending on the height of the chassis, we unscrew the bolts and lower the support to the desired height. The support foot is hinged to compensate for uneven terrain. This trailer has a friction wheel drive system. This system allows the trailer to drive into a hard to reach places. Without a tractor unit, the trailer is controlled by three levers. The first lever presses the clutch against the trailer wheels. The second two levers control the direction of movement of the trailer, forward, backward, and if the levels are directed in the different directions, the trailer turns. A heat exchanger is installed in the hydraulic system. It allows you to work for a long time without stopping. The heat exchanger reduces the volume of oil in the system, which is why the volume of the hydraulic tank in the drilling rig is 40 liters. Control elements are compactly located on the working panel. In order, I will tell you about functions performed by each of them. The first is the rotator speed control lever. We tilt away, rotation to the right. 
tilt towards, rotation to the left occurs. Nearby there is a lever for control of effort and speed. When the lever is in vertical position, nothing happens. The rotator is stopped. When we begin to lower the level to the horizontal position, we increase the speed and increase the torque to the maximum. The second lever controls the raising and lowering of the mast to the walking position and back. The third lever controls the raising and lowering of the carriage. It has a fixation, so during the walking process, it is not necessary to keep the hand constantly on it. The fourth and fifth levels are used to extend the hydraulic outriggers. The flow regulator allows you to adjust the force and speed of each of the walking elements, which are controlled by those levers. This panel contains pressure gauges. They allow you to control the effort on all working units. Now let's take a look at the hydraulic circuit diagram of the drilling rig. Oil from the tank goes through filters to a three-section hydraulic pump. The first flow goes to a three-way valve. In the right position it activates the electric control valve, which runs the hydraulic cylinder of the mood pump. In the left position oil flows into the hydraulic control valve for the friction drive. The first lever controls the hydraulic cylinder of the friction drive. The next two levers control the left and right friction drive motors. Thus the first hydraulic pump is used to start two different operations that cannot be performed at the same time. A second pump supplies oil to a directional control valve with fixation that drives the rotator motor. The rotation speed is controlled by the throttle. If it is open, oil is directed to the drain channel. As the throttle closes, the motor speed increases. The third flow from the hydraulic pump is fed to a four-piece directional valve. The first lever has a fixation. It controls the hydraulic motor of the chain drive of the carriage. The second actuates the mast lift cylinder. The third and fourth controls the hydraulic cylinder of the trailer supports. This section also contains a throttle that regulates the oil flow rate. When the throttle is in the open position, the carriage floats and lowers under its own weight. A safety valve is installed in each directional valve. When the maximum pressure is exceeded, the valve opens and oil is discharged into the drain channel. The electronic panel has buttons for turning on and off the mood pump a start button for the engine, a power supply lamp, and an emergency stop button. Here also installed an hour meter and a voltmeter to control the battery charge. The mast can be of two types, with a chine drive for a hydraulic motor, and the second option is drive it by a hydraulic cylinder. The chine driving mast allows the use of a 3 meter drill rods. The working stroke of this mast is 3.2 meters. In the second version of the mast driven by a hydraulic cylinder, we can use a drilling tool 2 meters long with a working stroke of 2.2 meters. Here is installed a water-cooled diesel engine with a power of 30 kW. The rig can also be equipped with 15 kW air-cooled petrol engine. The diesel engine of our unit is mounted on special vibration dampers. During the working process this allows to compensate the vibrations and feel comfortable in the evening. If you want to buy the dwelling rig, follow link in description. The website has all the technical information and our contacts to complete an order. If this video was useful for you, please like and subscribe to the channel. Good luck! Bye!